Hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Jungkook being a little uncomfortable about some gay pics that have been talked about and trending online. I have a lot of thoughts of this. I wanted to talk about the moments and what people are saying. I also want to get into an enhypen moment. Sunwoo has recently been talked about and seemingly in trouble for being quote unquote fat. And I wanted to get into this a little bit and talk about it. So grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of any video drops. Any of these hater like to be first leave your hate comment please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so now let's jump into it the first thing i want to get into is this relationship that people seem to be talking about i was doing my daily update search and i was rummaging through the tweetster as i normally do and came across jungkook uncomfortable as one of the top searches when you look up jungkook usually top searches that come up when you search jungkook are jungkook tattoos his tattoo artist friend dating comes up and surprisingly or not surprisingly i guess jungkook's bulge comes up and i would assume things like muscle or whatever come up, but I haven't personally seen that. These are top suggested searches. And if you don't know, typically these searches are suggested to you in the drop down menu because it's the most popular. So I was very confused as to why Jungkook Uncomfortable was top search and was thinking that this could maybe be a moment in a recent interview that I missed or maybe an older interview that I never saw, you know, whatever. But I was shocked to see not only was this post about a gay ship by my other husband, Jimin. I say so casually because it's true, but Jimin was even in the top search saying Jungkook Uncomfortable with Jimin. It's very weird to see that, and especially even more weird to see Jimin and Jungkook photos in this search. There are several pictures under this search that show the two together and just their cute moments together, either hugging or just being next to each other. I mean, they do have a lot of those moments, but all the members have cute moments with each other. Of course, G Cook shippers were going crazy because they were mad that this was happening, and Tay Cook shippers were talking about this and using it as a way to say that Jimin and Jungkook are uncomfortable with each other, which I just don't think it's true. I'm trying to be unbiased here, and you guys know which ship I prefer, but I try my hardest not to bash one or the other. I don't think Jimin and Jungkook are actually ever really uncomfortable with each other. They literally get up on each other and close to each other's face. What is left for them to be uncomfortable? They've done it all to each other. There were those photos that were tweeted out of Jungkook and Jimin almost kissing sort of, and then just hugging and sleeping with each other. This one person wrote, pictures of Jungkook being uncomfortable with Jimin, when will Jimin stop? As you can obviously see, there is no such thing as discomfort between them. I think they're very close and don't mind being this affectionate with each other. I don't think they're doing this to make Taeyong jealous or anything like that. I think they're doing this to simply have fun and also give us a little fan service. It's extremely weird to see this being talked about on the tweetster. I don't know if this was like haters trying to make Jimin look bad by being like, look, he's attacking Jungkook, or if it simply was just a misunderstanding. But it's quite alarming the amount of random hate that exists in K-pop, right? Like it's very often there'll be fake fans that pretend to be armies only to stir up the fandom and get drawn going. And in reality, they're fans of another group trying to bring BTS down. This happens more than you would think. And it's really problematic. Like, are you that bored? I don't know if I've clarified this before, but making videos in K-pop or just doing anything in K-pop, whether you're an idol or not, it's like a ticking time bomb. One day you're literally fine. And the next day you're waking up to rumors of you doing horrible things and it's made up. And with Western media, the horrible thing is like, oh, you were caught smoking or doing drugs, which is bad, but it's your decision to do that. And most people don't care. Whereas in K-pop, it's like, I saw this idol murder their friend. They need to go to jail and die. It's like, what? It's genuinely so concerning how everything can literally be fine, but Jungkook and Jimin can just wake up one morning. And if they want to check the tweetster, see that there's a conversation about how secretly Jungkook hates Jimin. It sucks because if Jimin sees this and just has anxiety, which comes with bad thoughts anyway, he may think it's true. I would. I would be like, wait, Jungkook does look uncomfortable in this clip. And let's say Jimin asks and Jungkook says no. Anxiety can still be like Jungkook is lying. These things can genuinely ruin a friendship. And it's one of the reasons why celebrity couples who are public end up having a lot of problems. Because news articles will write and make up things and it will literally get into the celebrity's head. You read 50,000 articles about how you're a bad person, you're gonna start to believe it. They're friends and I trust that if they're uncomfortable with anything that is being done, it will simply stop. I think after almost 10 years of living with each other and watching each other grow up, there's probably very little to no communication issues. They probably know what each other is thinking by simply looking at each other. They probably know each other better than their blood family knows each other. But also at the point in their relationship, there's probably very little personal space to begin with. They probably acknowledged a long time ago that the members will have 
have no personal space. I'm kidding. BTS is definitely a group that has lasted a long time. I think it's rare for a group to last this long. Usually they break up right on the brink of them getting really big or they end after a few years of being big due to the differences or one of them wanting a solo career. There seems to be no desire for that for them. It also comes with how they encourage each other and show love to each other too. I think in Hypen is a group that the members do like each other and they vibe well off of each other. I'm currently reacting to Island every week on my Patreon. If you want to go and check that out, it's linked below. But in Hypen went through a lot together on Island and with that, of course, comes with brotherly bonding and all that. I think they have been through a lot already, but there's been this recent controversy with the group that has gotten a lot of people mad. So what happened? In Hypen has their own little show they do called N O'Clock or something like that. And in the show, they basically do like reality TV type of thing. It's funny and cute. Recently, they were talking Sunwoo's love of toboki, which is a spicy rice cake. It's delicious. One of the comments that was thrown in Sunwoo's way was eating that is his specialty and are you going to pretend to be confused so you can keep eating? These comments that people took out of context, honestly, made it appear like they called Sunwoo fat or on a bigger side. He is definitely not big at all, but I don't think in this context it was ever referring to that. This was simply a joke made in the context of the show and oftentimes things like this get translated incorrectly. And in Asian culture, it's not necessarily rude to call someone fat. It just means that person is eating well, which is a great thing in Asian culture. Other moments that are still up for debate are moments in an episode where Sunwoo was asked if he gained a little weight and the other moments where it was said that he looked like Betamax. Sunwoo is very skinny. I hope he doesn't feel like he needs to lose any weight. Now, I still agree with my previous statement and I think it applies and I think it applies to these words that were said too. Also, keep in mind that if any of the members gained weight, I think the teachers would be the first to say it and point that out. I think the members would back off from saying it because there's no reason to say it again. Also, the comment talking about him looking like Betamax could be referring to the cuteness of Betamax. Sunwoo and Betamax have that same cute smile. Sunwoo is like the picture they used when they created the smiley face emoji. Obviously, that's a joke, but seriously, he has the smiley emoji smile. It's very cute. So I think they were referring to his cuteness. Honestly, when I saw that at first, I did not think they were calling Sunwoo fat. Do people even think of Betamax as fat? I think they made the joke maybe once or twice in the movie, but I don't think fat comes to anyone's mind when they think of Betamax. I could be wrong. I don't think they would publish this if they thought it was anything actually bad. Big Hit or Hive is very careful about this sort of thing. And if there's any actual bullying going on or anything like that, it would be immediately stopped because this would end their careers. I also hope that no one takes these comments, which I believe is just a cultural thing. It's not supposed to be insulting, but I hope no one takes these comments and feels bad about themselves. You are beautiful and everyone has a different body shape, being skinny or being bigger. There isn't one that is better than the other. As long as you're happy and healthy, that is the most important thing. Sunwoo is neither on the bigger side nor unhealthy. I don't think so. So he is good and I hope in Hypen stops getting backlash for this because I don't think there was any ill intent there. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there such as music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. I also take requests and all that. So if you'd like to see any videos more than this, please go over there and check it out. Currently, there's over 300 videos that are already up on there that you can access to the moment you sign up. I also send out cards and have great interactions over there as well. So if you would like to be a part of that, then make sure you check it out. Link is in the top description down below. I also have a video over there that kind of explains how you can support this channel even more if you'd like to do that. So make sure you go over there and check that out. With that, so there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.